you you mentioned James McMillan, legendary yep. attorney in the music industry. Yeah, is it necessary, in your opinion, is you know, for for indie artists to hook up with attorneys or production companies or have management in place? in order to get to you? Is that something for you? Because obviously James McMillan, he's been doing what he's been doing for, for so many years on such a high level. It's very easy for him to get a meeting with success. Mm -hmm. Would you recommend all indie artists go out there and find established managers, established attorneys, um, get a team, or just get your buzz up, just get your weight up, get people talking about you, and then we're gonna come find you? Well, I think, I think it depends on the artist, and and I've seen cases of both, right? I say if you, if you feel like your team is strong, right? And when I say team, the very basic minimum to have is your your day to day manager, right? He might be homeboy management. He came up with you. Y'all went to school together, or he's off. He's off the block. But if he possesses those qualities that he, he speaks well, good communication skills. He's able to get you in rooms that you're not able to get yourself in. And, and he's, he's a good represent, representative of, of you and your talent. Then listen, I'm all about giving a guy a chance. But if you get to a point where you're not seeing progress, he's dropping the ball, you're missing appointments, he can't get you those meetings or in those rooms, he can't get you access to other creative producers or features or what have you, then it may be time to look for somebody with a little bit more muscle coming in the game. That's like, you know what? Because I, I find that again, you at least need somebody speaking for you who can get you in places you can't get yourself. And to a certain extent, they should have some relationship skills and, and, you know, they should have a Rolodex, which is able to make some calls, um, if they can. Now, I've also seen guys that didn't have relationships. They were brand new, but they had a vision and they had great marketing skills and, and they were executing, you know, uh, release schedules and putting projects together. And they were able to do that in a way that the labels came to them. And so I don't, I don't think there's a right way or a wrong way. I just feel like, again, you have to be real with yourself. If your if your team is good, then, you know, and, and you're seeing progress and you think that they're able to take you to the finish line, then listen, by all means, we love seeing young executives being created because we got to pass the torch to the next generation. But again, right. you also got to be realistic with yourself and say, you know, I know you, my boy, you've been down from day one, but we get into that point where I don't think you can take me to the level where I need to go. So there's a few different ways you can, as a team, you can go and say, let's go find somebody who is capable of taking us where we need to go. Um, you know, and, and so I, I just think you got to be realistic with yourself because you don't want to stifle your own career because you're trying to be loyal to the homies when at the end of the day, you know, it's no love lost, but I mean, I'm taking this seriously. I've sacrificed and I'm, I'm doing all the things for my career. And if you are not the guy that can take me there, it may be time to find somebody who can. Um, and I think the homies would have to understand because that, you know, you gotta, just like you gotta be real. They gotta be real with what they're able to do. And then same thing on the attorney side, you should definitely get a good attorney. You know, James is a good attorney. There's attorneys that are act that are out there. Um, and you should know who they are and how to get to them because if you're serious about it and you're starting to see progress in your career, you're definitely going to need a good entertainment attorney who can help you close some of those deals and, and get some of those deals done. What's up, guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love.